From Montgomery to Hill, Green County and Paris, Porsche taking on the black belt. She ain't scared. Marigo County, something County, we're cops and mama. Interviewing everybody since the brothers and mamas. It's Porsche. Hey, everybody, we are live here. And now the sun want to come out. Mm -hmm. And. Tuscaloosa, but we are talking to a black belt native, Mr. Tony, right? Is it yes. Mr. Is you, you are you that formal? Well, you can call me Tony. You can just call you yeah, Tony, yeah. okay. Now, Tony, Tim. Well, introduce myself. Yeah, you got to introduce My yourself. My name is Tony Wild. I'm from Alexville, Alabama. I'm an artist. Um, go by the name of the 13th one in the group, Bread Hunters, and I have my own label that I'm working on. It's I Want N E N T. And, um, what I'm promoting is, you know what I'm saying, uh, my shirt line is called I Want In. I Want In in the team. Let me, let me zoom in on the thing. Let me zoom in since the sun want to come out now. <laughs> I did all that setting. <laughs> all right, here we go. Yeah, I Want In. And also, um, I was asked a couple years ago to do a song to help um, motivate the kids to um, do well on the ACT Inspire test by the counselor of uh, Oakdale uh, um, Elementary wow. School up here in Tuscaloosa. So I uh, made a song, me and my, my producer, Joseph Stanson, who's also the um, band director of Natalesville, Alabama. Okay. And um, we did a song called Educational Pledge. And uh, man, it's, it's nice. It's on YouTube. And um, I go perform for the kids, talk to the kids at different schools and different um, in different places. And I also have the shirts. That I'm, I have for them, I made for the kids. Growing. Now that's mine, right? Yes, yes. Okay, I'm excited right. to get one. Okay. <laughs> it's educational pledge, and it has on there. I pledge allegiance to education because everybody needs to pledge to something, especially dealing with education or just pledge to learn more things in life. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I'm, I'm doing, promoting my music and promoting my product that I have. All right, now tell me, how did you get started in music? Man, I um, always loved music growing up. And um, back when I was 11, 12 years old, me and my friends would play around freestyling and call each other on the phone freestyling and listening to music because I'm a lover of music. And plus, my mom, she's in the church and she sings real good. Oh, okay. She sings gospel. Shout out to your mama. Yeah. And Pastor Henrietta Hill. Okay. <laughs> um, down in um, Carrollton, Alabama. Okay. Um, but, um, and I just love hip hop all around from the East Coast, West Coast, down South, all music. So that was my love for music came from. Okay. Now you you said that music. What did music do for you? Like you talk about. You tell me why you love music. Yeah. But how did it influence your life in any way? Man, music is, is an escape. Okay. You know what I'm saying. And, and but okay. Now I, I like that you just said that, and I, I just want to hold your thought just a second. Okay. You know when I go out to schools and I speak to young people, yeah. they tell me weed is their escape. Yeah. Tell me how you can influence what you're talking about as far as with your music. Yeah. Why was music your escape and not the alternative? Well, I can. I have done those okay, things that, when talk, I was young. You yeah, know what I'm let's I, talk about it. Smoke weed and all that when I was young, but mm -hmm. music was still a different escape because you're, you're to me because you can you can um, express yourself in a whole different way. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then you can say some things that some people want to say but they don't know how to put it in words and that's when they listen to music so they can listen hear something that a person says and be like oh man that that that's what i wanted to say but i didn't know how to relate right. and you know what i'm saying and that's why they adapt to certain songs and certain certain people and certain artists because they speak for them through their music and they don't understand that this person across the country or this person in another city feel the same way that i feel right. and so that's why music was my escape because i was listening to music and people that i was listening to were saying certain things that i wanted to say i'm like okay <laughs> what's up? Mm -hmm. and then i became a person of my own right. growing up with my own ideas and i'd be like okay I'm putting it down myself and see what people will think of what I say right. that come from inside of me. And so that's 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 the way I look at it. All right, now, one, one of the things that I, I, I love that you say, you know, you're a pre-K. You're a PK. Yeah. I was a pre-K. I was bad. I was horrible. <laughs> I was horrible. I mean, oh, my gosh. So, um, but one of the things we got to do, we got to take a commercial break. Then we're going to come back, and then we're going to talk about how you train, how going back to what you was taught okay. and then what you're doing now. Okay. Is that okay? Alright, All right, so we'll be right back. Alright, so we're back with Tony 
and um, we we ended the last conversation. I thought it was going really, really good, and I wanted you to continue to talk about you know that transformation. Now you know they always say what the pre preacher kid, yeah. the word won. You know that's what they say about us, right? I was, I was. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> but uh, but at the same time, you talked about how you did go that path, yeah. and 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 so it's not like. Since we, you know how some people they've been that path and then when they see a young person they look down on yeah. you're not like that yeah no because uh, okay go ahead because i was that young person that they look down on oh wow and and you gotta it's all about growth and transformation it, it's a lot of people that still growing today no matter how old you are you know what i'm saying you still got to continuously grow because change comes every day and you got to let that be known and let that be shown. Some people don't want to change because they'll be looked at as, they, they, they think that mm -hmm. people will look at them as bad. And, and people, I, I put this on a post on Facebook no, the other go day, ahead, go um, ahead. that people use the phrase, you've changed as a negative uh, um, phrase. Yes, sir. But it's always, it's a positive phrase in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what people need to understand that because you change, that don't mean that you 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 you're um, pushing everybody else out to life. You change for the better, you change for you. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's change for growth. And especially if you got kids, jobs, opportunities coming in front of you. Right. You can't always be that same you that you've grown up, that, that who's growing up. And that's where the thing is, growth. And you gotta grow up. And, and I think that's the biggest thing for a lot of people about growing up. Yeah. And, and and maturing yeah. and um but just because you know people I, I i and i know i have a lot of young people watch my show and i and one of the things i try to stress to them especially when i speak is that you don't have to wait until you get older right. to change right. you right. know and i think with that that song yeah. you know when you're right talking about that song let's talk about it let's talk about you know when you were writing that yeah. what did you want to convey over to the to the kids it was it more so just to pass the test or be more serious about education be be more serious about education okay because the song is a pledge within itself okay just talk about some of the lyrics okay when i when i perform the song i also have them to stand up and take the pledge okay just like they pledge to the flag i have them stand up raise their right hand and, and repeat after me it says i pledge allegiance to, I pledge education. Allegiance to education um that if i get it if I get it, I know I'll make it. I know I'll make it. Knowing every day in life, knowing every day in life, it's gonna be a test. It's gonna be a test. If I keep my A's and B's close, <laughs> if I keep my A's and B's close, I will see success. I will see success. Yes. Wow, that's an awesome pledge. Most definitely, and and that's what it came to me when she asked me, and um um and it just. I hit my, hit my producer with it. Like mm -hmm. I say, he teaches in the school. Oh, who's system. your producer? You can shout him um, out. J Joseph Stancer. He's the band director in Oh, yeah, the same guy. Yeah, the same yeah, yeah, guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, when I hit him with it, he was like, bro, man, let's get it. <laughs> and he jumped on the opportunity, and he, he, he came with the beat. And man, we I, we put it together. I put it together and um, sent it to the uh, counselor at Oakdale Elementary. And she was over uh, um, excited to get me to come perform for the kids and talk to the kids and I've also performed at Aliceville Elementary, okay. um, Scotland Elementary and West Lawn Middle School up here in Tuscaloosa. That's awesome. And um, and it's any other schools that need it, okay. you know what I'm saying, need the motivation, contact me. Alright, you know tell them how to hit you up. Well, you can contact me, follow me on Facebook at Tony Wilder, Okay. you know what I'm saying, or um, Contact me at 205-799-9442 and, and uh, he emailed me at B-R-E-A-D-H-U-N-T-A-G at gmail.com. That's breadhunterg at gmail.com. And, and and in your music, there's, we're going to end on that, and um, and I'm, I always let people do their final thoughts. Yeah. Um, but just in your music, if I was to purchase that, you got an album out? Um, I have songs that you got songs do out. Okay. on um, iTunes and Spotify. Okay, tell them, tell them, you know. Yeah, you can um, go to iTunes um, in the search engine and type in the 13th one, D-A-1-3-T-H-O-N-E, or you can do the same on Spotify. Now, tell me about the 13th one before we end. Man, the 13th one is a name that I gave myself, man, and it came from when I was one, doing one of my um, unplanned vacation <laughs> that I was, you know what I'm saying, a part of when I was younger. And um it was like it's like the thirteenth one and, and it was it's Jesus was on this earth and he had twelve disciples. You know what I'm saying? Not to get all spiritual. No, no, religion. go ahead. You can't and 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 and, and they twelve the twelve disciples were the people that he sent out 
to, to relay messages. Then we he, bored. Then we bored. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, then we home. I feel that I'm ordained, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm a leader within myself, and a leader enough to know that if he was on this earth today, I could be ordained as the 13th one. Ah, uh, that's what's you know up. What that's what. You need to hook up with T. Po. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure T. Po watch just, this show. Just, just yeah, doing it, like I said, doing it from 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 everywhere, every, all angles. Like I say, I even was blessed to take a trip to Africa and go. Uh, my music took me there. You know what wow. I'm saying? And and I was blessed to do that, man, and, and experience a lot of things there while I was there for six days. And in oh, what part? In Senegal, Africa. Oh Nicole, wow! In West Africa. West. And right. so it's like it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's just becoming. A man as it were, you know what I'm saying? My music, I want my music to evolve and revolve around everything from all angles. You know what I'm saying? The street from the streets, clubs, schools, everything, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I believe I'm a way around the person dealing with music, lyricism and all that. So right. I can't just base myself and hold myself in, 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 in one era of area of everything. You know what I'm saying? That's powerful. There's too much out here. Too much out here. It That's is. what we lock ourselves in at and put ourselves in that box. I'm trying to step outside that box and see what's outside that box also. And that's a, always a great thing to be. Being that we were from the Black Belt of Alabama and everybody has this stigma, in about 20 seconds, yeah. <laughs> can you tell us what, why, how can you be from Addisville, Alabama, going to Akron? I mean, Africa, yeah. uh, doing all these great things, going into schools to speak, being from our region. What, Looking into this camera, somebody that's watching the show from my area, what can you tell them about following your dreams? Man, follow your dreams no matter how long it takes. No matter how long it takes, man. Had a mentality of, I want in. You see, he breaking through the wall, breaking through all your boundaries. No matter how long it takes, if you got to do a few things by yourself, that, that shows you that you really want it. You have really, really blown my mind today. I was it's glad I'm glad that you had the time to meet me. I'm sorry about yesterday. Oh, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> and and thank you for understanding and, and that shows me that you definitely have a, a genuine heart. Um I, thank you for coming to Porsche Takes on the Black Belt. We appreciate you coming uh coming to us. Thank you for my shirt. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's tonight's show. See you next week. Bye bye. This is another too cool production. Production. Well, the kingdom is my business, but not this right here is personal. Kingdom is my business, but not this right here is personal.